Hey everybody, welcome to Yoga with Michelle. Again, my name is Michelle. If you have already been here or this is your first class with me, welcome. This is an all levels power flow, meaning you can take it down a notch, you can take it up, however you're feeling today, whatever you're dealing with and whatever your goals are. So regardless of your fitness level, your knowledge of yoga, you're in the right place. I'm here for you. I'll walk you through every step and every transition and every pose. So no worries about anything. Let go of any expectations of perfection. I always say this is about being present and it's about making progress and just being in your, in your body, in your space, filling up your own cup so you can go out and pour into other people as the best version of yourself. And that's what this is about. Um, yoga can be anything you want it to be. It can be a spiritual practice, purely physical and a workout or anything in between. So just make sure that you're in something comfortable today. Um, hopefully all the time. I like being comfortable all the time. <laughs> So um, maybe yoga pants, a mat, right? A uh, block, towel if you've got it, water. I always suggest hydrate, of course. You will sweat during this practice, so be ready for that. Grab whatever you need. Get rid of anything that you don't. Hopefully any distractions or, uh, like I said, expectations, any... Um, thoughts that just kind of get in your way. I know that's how it is for me, whether it's things I have going on or uh, limiting beliefs I have about myself, whatever you might be feeling that gets in your way of joy and of movement and of just being here and showing up for this practice, let it go and we'll get started. We're going to start in child's pose. So bring your feet out or sorry, bring your knees out wide. And the great thing is this is YouTube yoga, um, not like Instagram yoga. So again, not looking for perfection. We're all human, we're all people and totally imperfect. So that's how our practice is naturally. Bring your knees out wide, walk your hands forward. We'll come into child's pose. Just be here for a few breaths to get grounded in our space. Meaning just arrive here and settle in, get into the right mindset. Your mindset is everything, whether it's in your relationships, your career or your job, or your yoga practice. You bring your willingness. And create a strong, powerful breath. Spread your fingers out wide. Press down in your hands. Take a big breath in through your nose. And exhale your way just to all fours right now, to tabletop with your shoulders over your wrists and your hips right over your knees. We'll start with some cat cows. So sink your chest down, look forward, and round your back a lot. Look back. Tilt your tailbone up and then down towards your heels. Let your chest sink down. And then press the mat away. Come to a neutral spine or a flat back. Bring your left hand into center. Lift your right hand up, twist. And thread it through underneath your left armpit. Bring your cheek or your forehead down to the mat. Walk your left hand forward. Get nice and long. Just a couple of breaths here. And plant your hand, come back to center. This time, move your right hand into the center. Reach your left hand up, twist. And exhale your way through, walk your right hand forward, maybe even press down in your fingertips, lift your palm, just start to wake up your body, put your attention on whatever the physical sensations are, and to get out of your thoughts and out of your head.
Come back to center. Be really intentional, setting up the physical foundations of your pose. So bring your pointer fingers to 12 o'clock. Spread your fingers out wide. Create an external rotation in your arms. So that's bringing the inside of your elbows forward slightly. Tuck your toes, come to downward facing dog. You can kind of experiment with the width and the length of your down dog. It might be different today than it is uh, on a different day. That's just kind of how we are as people, right? So yoga meets you wherever you are. Press your chest towards your thighs. Let your heels melt down towards the mat. So really lengthen your hamstrings. Then come up high on your toes. Tiptoe to the top of your mat. Ragdoll. Bring your feet out wide. You can bring your hands to opposite elbows, maybe a little sway from side to side. And if stillness feels better to you, bring stillness. A ease in your face your jaw, your eyebrows, let go of any tension. Ground down through the center of your heels and the ball mounds of your big toes. Drop your hands down to the mat. Heel toe your feet in a little bit closer, like hip distance apart. Bend your knees a lot. Sweep your hands open wide, reach up. Extended mountain pose. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Draw your shoulder blades back. On your inhale, get really tall, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Halfway lift, lengthen the crown of your head forward, create a long flat back. So draw your shoulder blades up, make sure you're not rounding out your back. It's really an active pose. So bring your inner thighs back, fire up the muscles of your legs. Pull your belly in, take a breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose. Reach up, look up. Bow forward. Halfway lift. High plank. Plant your hands, step or float your feet back to a high push up position. Remember you can modify however you need to. So maybe you want to bring your knees down to the mat. Maybe you want to lift a leg today. You're feeling strong. But bring a little bit of roundness to your low back. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Shift forward, low plank. Bend your arms 90 degrees. Upward facing dog. Pause right here. Bring your chest forward. Create some space some distance between your shoulders and your ears so you're not collapsing here, but really lengthening the crown of your head forward. Take a big breath in, and exhale to downward facing dog. Take an inhale, and empty all the air out. Come up high on your toes, step or hop to the top of your mat, Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain pose, pull in and reach up, forward fold. Half lift, pull your belly in, chaturanga, low plank. Upward facing dog, lengthen your neck, downward facing dog. Press down in your hands. Fire up your core. On your next inhale, come up high on your toes again. Look forward, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, forward fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, rise, chair, sink down. Peek down at your toes for just a second. If you can't see your toes at all, draw your knees back. Sink your sits bones down, and then bring your outer ankles out. Yeah, not like a physical movement, but just energetically pulling them out to fire up your outer thighs and your glutes. Draw your shoulder blades back. 
Sink down nice and low in your chair. Take a breath in, lift your chest. Forward fold. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Bring your chest forward. Downward facing dog. Chest towards your thighs. Three legged dog. Right side. So lift your right heel. Right, point or flex your foot, but be intentional. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Then shift forward, right knee to right elbow. Bring your shoulders over your wrists and take it straight back up, three-legged dog. Shift forward, knee to opposite elbow. And lengthen, heel towards the ceiling. Step forward, warrior one. Plant your right foot, the top right corner of your mat. Let your back heel come down. Create an inward rotation in your back leg. Sink down, work towards a 90 degree angle in your front knee. Remember giving yourself grace and patience and holding yourself accountable at the same time. Hey, yoga is a balance in a lot of different ways not just like balancing on one foot or on your hands. Warrior two. Bring your right knee out right over your ankle. So don't let it cave in. Bring purpose to your movement. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior and cartwheel down, chaturanga, low plank, upward facing dog, press the tops of your feet down, downward facing dog, three-legged dog, left side, lift your left heel up, right, use your glute, so square your hips to the mat rather than opening your hip, shift forward, left knee to left elbow. Squeeze your oblique, shift back. Come forward, opposite elbow, contract, and then lengthen, three-legged dog. Step forward, warrior one, left side. Face both hips forward. So press down a lot in your back foot. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Reach your hands up. Maybe you want to cactus out your arms today or clasp your hands behind your low back. Totally up to you. This is your practice. This is your time. Doesn't have to look like anyone else's. Definitely doesn't have to look like mine. Reach up, take a breath in. Warrior two. Spread your fingers wide. Press down in your heels and the ball mounds of your big toes. Engage your core. Right, lock that in. Flip your palm. Stay low in your front knee. Reverse. And cartwheel down. Low plank. Like I said, maybe lift a leg or add a push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. We're gonna take that one breath per movement. So lengthen your breath, work to get to the pose. But like I said, let go of the idea of perfection. Just bring your best. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. Come up high on your toes. Look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, forward fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, rise up, chair pose, sink down. Lift your chest, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, look forward. Downward facing dog, look back. 
Three-legged dog, right side. Shift forward, right knee to right elbow. Take it out wide. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist. Three-legged dog. Step forward. Warrior one. Inhale your way up. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse, look up and back. Cartwheel your hands down. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, shoulders straight back. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Lift your heel, get long, then shift forward. Left knee to left elbow. Press back up, three-legged dog. Exhale forward, twist. Straight back up. Come forward, warrior one. Reach up and back, warrior two. Open up, reverse, big breath in. Chaturanga, exhale it out. Upward facing dog, lift the crown of your head. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side. Bend your knee, stack your hips. One right on top of the other. Get really long in the right side of your body. So lift your knee up even higher. Come up high on your toes. You can stay right here or flip your dog. You can also come into this from a seated position, just like this. Press down in your feet and in your left hand, open and lift. You could come into wheel or wild thing, but press down, lift the front of your hips up, take a breath in and come back around. High plank, side plank, right side, plant your right hand, open up. It's okay to smile, to lift the corners of your mouth up just a little bit. Don't take yourself too seriously. You're here for three. Look up, get wobbly, two. One, sweep your hand back down. Low plank, shift forward. Bring your elbows over your wrists. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Squeeze your heel to your glute. Stack your hips. Bring your shoulder blades together on your back. Keep them just like that. Come up high on your toes. Flip your dog. Stack your knees right over your ankles. Make sure you're not collapsing here in the shoulder. So press the mat away, create some space here between your shoulder and your ear. Let your head hang back. Open your chest up towards the ceiling. One more inhale, fill your lungs. And exhale, come back around. Make your way into side plank on the left. Flex your feet, engage your core, pull your belly in and up. Lift your hips up even higher. Maybe take your eyes, your drishti, somewhere new. Let yourself fall out for one more. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side. Remember, pointer flex your foot. Then hug your knee to your chest, look forward, plant your foot at the top of your mat, crescent lunge. Reach your biceps right by your ears. Stack your back heel right over your back toes. Right? So you might have to inch your foot forward or back to find the right spot for you, the right length and width. Then sink your hips down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hinge forward, get nice and long. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist to the right. Hook your knee around your elbow. Or of course, you can bring one hand down to the mat and lift one hand up. 
but ground down through your front foot. On your breath in, lengthen your spine. And on your exhale, open up to warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse, look up and back, extended side angle. Bring your elbow to your thigh, or you can bring your hand down to a block or to the mat. But peel your shoulder back and your chest up towards the ceiling. Ease in your breath, but intention and purpose. Press down in your front foot. Ground down through your heel and the ball mount of your big toe. Look forward in a transition into eagle on the left. It might feel a little bit funky and that's actually perfect. Right leg over, left arm, sorry, left leg over, left arm under. I've got it, you've got it. And no worries if it's not perfect. Just press down, pull in, lift the crown of your head up. And release, sweep your arms open wide, extended mountain pose. Forward fold, right at the top of your mat, halfway lift, long spine, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Hug your knee to your chest, look forward, plant your foot. Again, there's time here to build the pose from the foundation, from your feet to your core, all the way up to your fingertips. Spiral your pinkies in towards each other. Draw your shoulder blades back. Sink down nice and low. Look up and back for one breath and then hinge forward. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist the other way, twist to the left. Fire up your back leg. Lengthen the crown of your head forward as you twist the center of your chest up towards the ceiling. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse, extended side angle. Stay low in your front knee. Press down in your heels, draw your heels towards each other. Rotate your rib cage, take your eyes up to the ceiling. Then get grounded in your front foot again. Keep your core engaged as you nice and slowly transition into eagle on the right. Right leg over, right arm under. Squeeze your thighs together. Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. If you fall out, just come right back in. No worry or drama around it. Just begin again. And release, sweep your arms open wide. Reach up. This time, standing leg raise on your right side. Grab your right knee or your big toe. Open up to the right. So it could look like this. Maybe you grab your big toe or your foot and take your eyes to the left. Pause right there, I'm gonna shift back, facing forward for me. Bring your leg forward, straighten your leg, reach up. On your inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, airplane pose. Squeeze your triceps towards each other. Squeeze your thighs in, right? Go for hip stability here. Bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. I like to grab a block. You can experiment there, whether you want the block or you bring your fingertips down to the mat, maybe even hover, lift your foot up, reach up, 
and forward fold. Shake it out. Come back up to standing. Kind of roll up, reach up, and take standing leg raise on the left. So grab your left knee or your foot. Open up to the left. Set your gaze, your focus at one point to the right. Flex your lifted foot, pull your belly in. Bring your leg back to center. Straighten your leg. Reach up. On your inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, airplane. Some slow movements. Keeping full body integration through the transitions. And ease in your jaw and your eyebrows and just in your way of being. Bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. Let yourself come out. Smile. It's just yoga. You're here to work on your balance, to work on yourself and learn about yourself. Not be perfect. You might be by yourself in your living room anyway. Lift your foot up even higher. Forward fold. Yeah, so no worries. Take a halfway lift. Pull your belly in, plant your hands, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, look forward. Downward facing dog. Look right at the back of your mat. Three-legged dog, right side. Hug your knee to your chest. Step forward, warrior one. So you're not using momentum or just kicking your leg forward. Warrior two. Triangle, straighten your front leg, reach forward. Lengthen your neck. Create an external rotation in your front leg. And then let your fingertips be your guide as you slowly come up to standing and reverse. Big long line, on the right side of your body. Come to center, side facing, wide leg forward fold. So bring your feet out wide. This time, clasp your hands behind your low back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold. And then wring out your shoulders. We tend to hold a lot of stress, a lot of our emotions and our shoulders and our hips. So use this time for an opening and a release and a letting go. Roll back up to standing. Face both feet forward towards the top of your mat. Walk your back foot in about halfway. You can take reverse namaste or grab opposite elbows. Or bring your hands up. Inhale, a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, sweep your hands forward. Pyramid. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. Shift your weight back towards your heels. Take a halfway lift, then plant your hands. Step back, lower all the way down to your belly. Locust pose. Bring your hands by your sides with your palms facing the mat. Lift up. Lift your chest and your thighs. Squeeze your triceps towards each other. So put your attention there for just a moment. Make sure you're not looking forward so much right, that it's crunching your low back or causing pain. Rather, lengthen through the crown of your head and the tips of your feet. On your inhale, rise up even more. Exhale, release, lower down. Bend one, or up. Bend your knees, windshield wiper from side to side. And straighten your legs. Plant your hands right by your ribs. Upward facing dog. 
Squeeze your thighs, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Hug your knee to your chest, shift forward. Warrior one. Last warrior on this side. So fullest expression, warrior two. Triangle. Press down in your heels. Draw your heels towards each other. So engage your adductors, your inner thighs. Then nice and slow, reverse your triangle. And come to center. Side facing, wide leg forward fold on this side. Just take a different variation. Fold forward if you want to come into a headstand, come into a headstand. I like to bend one knee and then the other. Totally up to you. Do what feels best to you. What's going to make the biggest difference, really? So often what feels best in the moment is not actually what we need. Yoga is also a balance of um, taking what you need, right, of practicing with the end in mind and how you want to feel when you're done, but also just looking for in each moment how you can bring greatness to that pose, to that breath. Roll up to standing. Face both feet forward. Walk your back foot in. Fold forward for pyramid. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Lift your toes, spread your toes. Take a halfway lift. Plant your hands, step your feet back to high plank. And we'll lower down again, this time even slower. So shift forward. Draw your shoulder blades back, but don't let your core sag down for three, two, one, all the way down. Take locust or floor bow. So locust again like we did on the other side, or reach back, grab your ankles, flex your feet, kick your feet up towards the ceiling, and then your shins back behind you. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Lift your feet up even more. And release, lower down. Again, you can bend your knees, kind of windshield wiper from side to side. Press the tops of your feet down. Plant your hands right by your ribs. Straighten your arms, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Come up high on your toes. Step, hop, or tiptoe all the way through your hands. Come down on your back. Perfect time to grab water or a towel. Take bridge. So press down in your feet. Lift your hips up. And kind of shimmy your shoulders underneath you. But press down in your triceps to lift your chest. Feel free to take wheel here. If wheel is a part of your practice, you can plant your hands right by your ears. Press down and lift up. We'll be here for five breaths. So you can lift your right leg up for two. Lift the center of your heel up. And switch legs. Flex your foot. Spread your toes. Lift your hips up high. Pull your belly in and up. And lower all the way down. Take your knees from side to side. Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined butterfly. 
Let's bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. Put your attention on your breath and on the sound of your inhale and the power of your exhale to bring ease and calm. And hug your knee, knees, both of them, into your chest, come into a ball, and then reach down your shins towards the outside of your feet. Happy baby. It's actually a really active pose. So if you're just kind of hanging out, pull your feet down even more. Get a big glute hamstring stretch here. Maybe bring them out wider or straighten one leg and then the other. Draw your tailbone down. Let yourself rock from side to side. and release. Hug your knees into your chest one more time. Send your heels straight up towards the ceiling, right over your hips. Clasp your hands behind your head. With your elbows out wide. Lift the center of your chest up like you're at the top of a crunch. So press your low back down, like glue it to the mat. Don't let it come up. Pull your belly in and up. Put your attention on your core. Flex your feet, spread your toes. Inhale. Exhale, let your right heel go down two inches off the mat. Pause right there. Press your heel forward, press your left heel up. Switch. Pause, lift your chest. Pull your belly in and up. Switch. Switch. For 10. Nine, breathe, eight, seven, keep going, switch. Focus on your core, not momentum. Four, three, keep your legs as straight as possible. Two, one, hug your knees into your chest. Rock forward and back. And come to high boat. So high boat could look different for everyone. You can point or flex your feet. Like I said, just be intentional. Maybe you give yourself some support here or here. But work towards a long straight spine. Lift your chest. Lift the corners of your mouth up a little bit. It helps, I promise, it makes a difference. I bring the right mindset, like we said in the beginning, attitude and effort. Pull your belly in and up. Maybe grab your toes. Start to straighten your legs. If you fall out, if your boat sinks, come back in, create a new boat. Draw your shoulder blades back. Three more breaths here. Take your eyes up higher. Lift your toes. Lift the crown of your head. One more breath in. And cross your ankles. Come to downward facing dog. Ah, pedal out your feet. Press down and forward in your hands. Three-legged dog right side. Bend your knee, stack your hips, and take half pigeon. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. And square your hips. So if you need a block right here under your hip or down your femur, a block, a book, whatever you've got, a towel, a blanket, do that. Otherwise, adjust your front shin, bring it forward towards the top of your mat. And you can stay upright just like this. You can reach back for your back foot or walk your hands forward. With every exhale, just let your hips sink down and open up even more. If 
If thoughts start to come in, put your attention back on your breath, back on your physical body, what you're up to in this moment. And slowly walk your hands forward towards your front shin. Sit up nice and tall. So bring the center of your chest forward. Lift the crown of your head up. Lengthen your core, right? Create length and strength by firing up your entire core, your pelvic floor, your transverse abdominis or TVA, right? That um, spot like just below your belly button, pull in and up. Then tuck your back toes, plant your hands, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Pull your belly in, bend your knees, stack your hips, lengthen the left side of your body, and then take half pigeon on the left. Same thing, be really intentional, setting up your pose. Take what you need. Modify if you need to, if you've got knee pain especially, or hip pain, you can take this on your back. You can also take double pigeon if you would prefer. Draw your right hip down towards the mat. Reach your back foot back even more, and then walk your hands or your elbows forward. Really lengthen the sides of your body. Give yourself three more full breaths here. With each exhale sinking deeper. And slowly walk your hands towards your front shin. Again, lift the crown of your head up, lengthen your neck, your core. Swing your right leg around, seated forward fold. Adjust your pants if you need to. Sit up tall, flex your feet. Sweep your hands open wide, reach up, and then fold. Lead with your chest. Reach for the outsides of your feet or your shins. You can grab a strap or a towel, whatever you've got. You gotta lasso your feet if you need to, or grab a block if you need more length. Release, plant your hands right by your hips. Bend your knees. Reverse tabletop. Open your chest up. Let your head hang back. Lift the front of your pelvis up. And then slowly come down. Take waterfall or shoulder stand. If you want to take a headstand or a handstand to get upside down for a few breaths, do that. Do it with ease. If you need a wall space and you've got one, grab a wall space. But just get your hips up higher than your heart for a few breaths. Shoulder stand, stack your feet over your hips and your hips over your shoulders. You can point or flex your feet and just energetically lift them up towards the ceiling. Keep them active. If you're in shoulder stand, take plow. Bring your feet back behind you. You gently press the back of your head into the mat. Make sure you're not looking side to side. And deaf man's pose. Bring your knees by your ears. And slowly, slowly one vertebrae at a time. Pausing. Come down onto your back. Nice, and if it happened all at once, that's okay too. 
Take a big full body stretch, biggest one yet. So reach your hands back, point to your toes. Take a big full breath in. And exhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Supine twist, so we'll give it a squeeze. Maybe bring it out to the right first and then over to the left. Enjoy this twist here. Last bit of your practice. Switch sides, so come back through center. Hug your left knee in. Bring it out to the left. And then twist. Stack your hips. Press your shoulder blades down into the mat. And soften your face. Release any tension you're holding. Any stress or anxiety or any worry. Anything weighing you down. We'll come back to center to take any last stretches you need to settle into our final resting pose, Shavasana. So just find a comfortable position on your back. You can bend your knees and bring your knees together and your feet out wide. Grab a pillow under your knees. Take all the time that you need. We'll lift the center of your chest up a bit. Let your feet fall open. Close your eyes. Be in the experience of rest. And when you're ready, with your eyes closed, gently roll to your right side. Take a moment here to end your practice with ease and with gratitude. Knowing that you are fully capable and able to take on whatever comes your way continue to serve and to lead that's the best version of you with your eyes closed come to a seated position facing me sit up nice and tall bring your hands to heart center together we'll take one more big full breath in Open your mouth, let it go. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me with your practice and with your time today. I hope you come back to this, uh, this class and my other classes again and again and share them with your people because um, I know that you know somebody that needs some yoga in their life, especially right now. So please share, comment, tell me what you want more of so that we can connect and I can continue to put out exactly what you're looking for. Thank you again.